working on partnerships to bring together computing and biology to work on some of the really hard problems of cancer research. This is the intersection of life and computing. And being able to apply computing to predict what will happen when we do an engineering change to life, that's pretty exciting stuff. We just recently developed a brand new type of modeling that allows us to simulate cancer proteins at the atomic level, opening up entirely new kinds of targets that we can use to try to drug those molecules. This is really the first time we've been able to simulate for a long enough duration that we can do a direct match between the simulation and the experimental data, which allows us to validate those models and know we're really on the right track. The problem with this is that it's incredibly computationally intensive. It requires a huge amount of data. So this is the kind of thing that exascale computing will enable. It'll allow us to do the level of simulation, the level of data analytics, build integrated AI and simulation models that will allow us to actually design new medicines, whether that's to cure an infectious disease or to treat cancer. That's the kind of treatment that we really need.